Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I am back. Let me put my iPad down here. I am back with the next part. Okay, we had collaged um, all of our collage stuff down. So now we need to go through and we need to um, do the next steps. So I won't talk about the next steps. I'll just start the next steps. But we are going to continue to finish the background, and then we will go to um, our um, our mermaid, okay? I am going to cover her up so we don't get her messed up. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to take some gesso, which this isn't gesso. This is... Just a second, you guys. I'm trying to open up the lid. This is Kills, K-I-L-Z. Uh, you buy it by the gallon, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart. It's a wall primer, and I use that because I can buy it so much cheaper, $15 a gallon. So, But if you have gesso or you like gesso better, you can use gesso for this, what I'm about to do. So I'm get, I got that out. I got the lid off. Jeez. Then I'm going to take a baby wipe. I'm going to grab two baby wipes, one to wipe my hands and one for this little easy technique. Okay, so let's put that one over here. Okay, so we're going to take a baby wipe. Let me see if, if I got both of these. All right, we'll start on this page over here. I'm going to take a baby wipe. I'm going to dip it lightly into the gesso or the kills. I'm going to use the lid, dip it into the lid because... Pour some off onto a lid. Okay, so I'm gonna take. I took some of this uh, kills or gesso, and I'm putting on the baby wipe. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want it to. I still want to see what's beneath it, but we want to get a nice light um, layer of gesso. For one, it's going to put the background into the background. It's also going to um, give us a surface to do more stuff on top of. But also, it gives us that, it starts giving us that mystical, magical look. And it also puts all this into the background a little bit more which we need. And there's going to be more layers on top of this. There's not going to be any more layers as far as any more, um, you know, napkins or papers or any of that. No more of that. But layers of paint and all of that. And if you get it heavy, just wipe it with a spot on your baby wipe that doesn't have too much on there. And then since you're using this gesso like this over it, now you can do more things on top of this. Like I said, you can do paint, you can do markers, pens, all that stuff, which is, we're going to be doing a bunch of that good stuff in just a second. Making sure I get this on nicely. Right there. And in here. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pause you guys for a minute so that we can, um, so this can all dry. It won't take, it only take a few minutes to dry, but you guys don't want to watch paint dry. So let me go ahead and pause you here in just a second. Wipe off my hands. Put this aside for a second. Let me pause you guys. And then I will be right back. Okay. 
Okay, so I dried that. And I know it took maybe three or four minutes, so. But I thought I'd pause you guys so you don't have to watch paint dry. Okay. So, the next thing we want to do is, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to do some different things. We're going to do some, um, I'm going to do some mark making. And you know what I, get, I do also, you guys, is I uh, make myself up some sticks of things that I like to include in my mixed media backgrounds because you kind of forget. Like, I'm going to fairy dust this piece. I put them on popsicle sticks. I'm going to do some stenciling. I'm going to do some script stamping. I'm going to do some messy writing. And I'm going to make some doodle marks. So, let's do some doodle marks first. It's not like I'm I'm picking this out, like how people pick out sticks. Okay, I'm going to doodle. Now I'm going to do this. No, no, this is a reminder of all the things I like to do in my backgrounds. So that I can pick out a few things to make sure that I do some of my favorite things. So, that's how I'm using those. Um, Let me get out my... Paint markers. You don't have to use paint markers if you want. You can use, um, you could always use um, just regular markers too. Um, but be careful with your paint mark with your regular markers because this has to be awfully dry. Paint markers, you're going over paint already, so you should be just fine um, with paint markers. Okay, so I'm going to use. This I'm just going to use the colors that are already in my background. So this tealish color, this pink color, and also a purple. I'm going to use this Jot Purple. This is an Artesian Purple by, Arte by Artesian. This is a uh, Jot. Go back to work for a minute. Okay. I'm also maybe going to use this light pink color. All right. Alrighty. Now I also had a cheat sheet, you guys, but I don't know where it's at. Of all different types of marks that I like to make, I just had a, a little sheet just so that when I'm doing marks, I don't have to think about them. I can just look at my little cheat sheet, but I can't find the damn thing. So anyway, let's just start. Um, these are going to be little crosses. Let me see how far away or how close I am so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's start on this page here of doing marks, and let me see if you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see if we come in a little bit closer. Let's see where that's at. Yeah, that'll bring you in a little bit closer. Okay. It's a tricky thing when you're working with a book that's this big because you have to be out far enough to, um, so you see the entire book, but I want to be close enough so you can see what I'm doing. So it's a little tricky. So I just put some little crosses in there with this cool bluish teal color and then I'm gonna use this pink these oh these are Jane Davenport's um, paint over pens you guys these are fabulous I've had these for a while and they just last forever they paint over everything I don't know if she makes these anymore or not but you can go to Jane Davenport's um, site and you can see these are gonna do some like little equal signs um, and you can uh, see if she still sells these. I don't think she sells them anymore um, in the stores, so. Like at Michael's and all that. She's more limited with selling all of her stuff at Michael's, and now she sells some stuff at Hobby Lobby, but it's, but it's limited. It's not the same. I don't know if she's getting away from that or not selling in the stores. I know she sells more now in her online store. Oh, she has, Jane Davenport has a whole thing of watercolors that you, she gives you all the base material and you make all your own watercolors. I think you end up making 60 watercolors. And then she also has like, um, like kind of like bling, I guess you call it. I'm trying to think what you call it. It's not bling, but anyway, bling to make your watercolors, 
um, you know, stand out. It's really cool. I want to, um, just like you guys, I'm prepping this pink. I don't think I've used it yet. I want to buy it so bad. It's $200. So that's why I haven't dove in yet, but I'm thinking about it. And it comes from Australia because that's where she lives. So it's, um, trying to, I want to use this pen, but it's not, oh well, we'll use this purple one now. Um, it's $200 and it's free shipping. And when I heard it was free shipping, I'm like, yeah, it should be free shipping because it's costing me 200 bucks. <laughs> I was like, God, what would the shipping be? Um, let's do some arrows. This is not a real bright purple. And I'm using colors that are already in the background. So all these marks are not standing out like a lot. And I don't want them to. Let's also do some crosses with this purple. So I don't want these, I don't want all this stuff to stand out majorly. This is the background, right? So we want everything to remain in the background. Um, let's see what else, what other shapes, um, so this is why I like having that cheat sheet. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if I want, if I want any other shapes on here. Oh, I do like these little bird shapes. We'll do some of those. Okay, so that's some marks, and that's enough mark making. So what else do I want to do? Oh, you know what? I need to go to this page. So we're not done yet. We need to go to the other page. There we go. So same thing. Um, let's do crosses. I'm doing like three crosses together. Throughout the page. Okay. I'm going to do those little flying little birds. They're just little like um, upside down bees. And you guys, I work really quickly. Do you have to work this quickly? Absolutely not. I just am a spaz. Okay. I just like to work quick. <laughs> I can, I help myself. Um, I'm going to do little, um, equal signs. I just like working quick. So just work at whatever speed you are, you like. Always, like they say, always just be you. And then, you know what, let me put some little birds in here. We'll do some X's. Okay. All right, so we put some, use our paint pens, and we got some marks down. Um, I'm gonna do some messy writing, and the messy writing is not so that anybody can even know what you're writing. It doesn't even matter what you're writing. It just adds to the background. Let me find the pen that I want to use. Not one of those. I think that's too small. Let me find one that's just right. Nope, not that either. Just a second, you guys. I'm looking for one of these pens. Perfect. This must be an 08. Yep. So right here, I'm going to do some messy writing. And do I care what I'm writing? No. I don't want, I'm not writing it so anybody can understand, but you can write like words that you like, like hope, 
and love and peace and happiness and um, tomorrow and my last name and bell and love and peace love happiness hope um, so I'm just writing any words I'm just writing anything and I'm writing it very messy so that nobody understands it but it just looks like there's some writing going on underneath so it just adds another layer I just wrote the word layer okay so I did that there you can do that in a lot of different places but I just did some there okay so we did some of that messy writing um, let's do some stenciling okay we'll start right here with the stenciling on this page And then over all this, we're going to take a baby wipe and wipe color on this. And we're going to wipe um, these three colors here, or maybe this, this, and this, I think. So, all right, so let's do, this is called Punchinella. This is really cool. This is uh, what's left over after they make sequins. So you can wipe Punchinella. I had never heard of Punchinella before. I was watching somebody, I can't remember who it was. And they were talking about Punchinella. I had to look it up, what it was even. And then it's on, they sell it on eBay. It's cheap. You can buy a bunch of it for like 3 or $4, and you get a ton of it. Way more than you'll ever need. Okay, so I'm going to, um, the colors that I have in the background are the colors I'm going to stick with, with using my stencil. So I have this, um, like, Robin's Egg Blue in the background. So we're going to use some of that. Um, I have this like mag this uh, magenta color in the background, so we're going to use some of that. I have like a purplish color. We'll use some of that. And I think that's it. I'm just going to think about using this lighter pink color, but we'll see. Okay, so let me get out three makeup sponges. So to wipe all this on, I'm going to use makeup sponges. And here's my punchinella. Oh, and before I forget, let's put some... Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's put a piece of paper over our girl. Just to protect her a little bit. All right, so let's just do this. And I want to work both pages at the same time. So I'm going to try to put this in frame as much as possible. So I may work in areas and you may not see me for a second, but don't worry, I'll be back in frame. I love what this punchinella looks like. How cool is that? This punchinella is very, very cool. Love it. Love it. And this is one of the funnest things, the funnest, that's not a word. This is what I really love doing. I love doing um, the layers. It really adds to your background. Okay, I don't want to use this whole thing. I'm just going to use bits and pieces of it. Um, goes there. Where's the other one? There we go. I'm just going to use bits and pieces of it. I just think it has a cool little design. Okay. 
and we'll use it one more time over here. Okay, we'll put that away, and I'm gonna wipe, wipe that off. You don't have to, I don't always wipe my stencils. Sometimes I do whatever, I just leave them. But when I remember, I try to wipe the damn things off. Okay. Next, I'm going to use this stencil. This is a Diane Reevely stencil, and I love it. Love it. Um... Take a little bit of that Robin's Egg Blue. And then, let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Yeah, one more stencil and then we're done. I'm going to use this stencil here. It's a bunch of crosses. Aren't, aren't those cool? I love it. So, some crosses there. crosses here. Put some purple ones there. Okay. So we do some did some stenciling. And we're gonna do some more stenciling too, but it'll be in black. This is just like background stenciling that I'm doing. And I'm gonna put these, throw these to the ground. Also another thing you can use is um some bubble wrap that's always a really cool thing to use this is a piece of something from the toy section from the kids toy section it's a piece of foam this makes a cool design too so if you don't have stencils you can look for mark makers like that around your um, house okay we need to dry this really quickly so let me put you guys on hold and let me dry this and then we'll go on to the next steps so I will be right back. Okay, so we went ahead and dried all of our stenciling. So now let's go to taking those same colors with a baby wipe. Um, grab some baby wipes. So I'm going to take a baby wipe, I'm going to divide it in half, take another baby wipe and divide it in half. Since we're working with three colors, three colors, I need three baby wipes, or I need three pieces of baby wipe. And I want to be able to see some of the layers underneath, so I don't want to completely cover things up. So I'm going to take the three different colors that we used to use for stenciling and start going like this, really messing, like going over things. Just a second, let me get myself some more paint going here on my palette. on our girl. All right. And when you put it on with the baby wipe, you can still see the underneath, which is really cool. So I'm going to go to this blue color.
I'm just going over to the other side with the glue too. Over here on this side. And then we need to go to the pink color. Let's go a little bit more blue. Right with you there. I'm right here to break some of this up. Okay. So that looks good there. Let me try and move this over a little bit so you can see this side completely. take that off there for a little bit okay so let's go with the pink color and I'm not minding if I get into her hair a little bit because I've already kind of made a decision that I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna have her hair be gray I'm gonna do gray hair which I'm really excited about which I think will be really cool I don't do gray hair very often, but I think that's going to look really, really cool. So, if I go over her um, hair or her things a little bit, we'll be fine. Um, that's my other baby wipe. Alright, I just lost one of my baby wipes, but no major. Alright, let's go into this purple a little bit. Just adding a little bit of color in right there. And then... That and let's go with the blue. All right. And if you, I got some on her, on her um, mermaid tail, I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And like I said, I really don't care if I get it in the hair because the hair is gonna be black. But on her tail, it's gonna have different colors in it. So just wipe it off if you get a little bit in there on something you don't want. Okay, I'm loving this. Look how pretty this looks. Oh, found the baby white that I was looking for. All right. Okay. Very pretty. So it's starting to look really mystical and magical. That's always what I'm trying to create. And also I'm always trying to create like a old wall look. Like something's been painted and then a bunch of stuff was tacked on and pasted on and stapled on. And then someone painted over that and they ripped it off. I'm always looking to make, make that. I know I say it all the time. But that's what all my backgrounds turn into. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so, um, most of this is already dried. I was going to dry it, but yeah, we're pretty good. Let me just blow dry this really quick. I'm not going to pause it because it's going to take like seconds.
I'm going to take another baby wipe with just white paint or that gesso, either way. And, um, oh, I'm down on my last baby wipe. I know I bought more. I don't know where the heck they're at, so I'm glad I don't need any more baby wipes right now. I have to stop this video. Anyway. I'm just going to use white acrylic paint because that's what I have right close by me. So just some real cheap Apple Barrel white acrylic paint. And on a uh, baby wipe, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go over certain areas and certain areas I'm not going to go over. Okay. And just, um, just beat this back a little bit. with white okay. just in certain areas I want to give it like a like a mystical magical look like it has a little bit of a haze going on in certain part areas on a baby wipe and white paint will give you that for sure love this let's do a little bit right through here but other areas we're gonna leave with just without any of that hazing love it okay all right so now let's get our blow dryer out again or your heat gun whichever one you want to do and let's blow dry this again I won't pause you this won't take long When you apply it with the baby wipe, you're putting on such light coats of paint that um, drying time is quick. Okay, so now we're going to do one of my favorite things I do to almost every piece I do. I love using a script stamp. Okay, so we're going to take that with black paint, or black paint, black, uh, black palette. So, um, sometimes I use brown, depends on what I'm doing. Sometimes I use both. I'll use black and I'll use brown. Anyway. Let's start this. And when you do it, you're going, you're not going to get it evenly. It's going to be like here and there. Here's, and I like that. I like it not being even. And it makes it look like more of it's like in the background. So my goal pretty much always is to try to look like I'm creating an old wall, an old door. And I got a little bit of the script stamp on her horns, her little deer antlers, and I'm good with that. How do you guys like my girl with the deer antlers? I love it. I think that just makes her look so magical and mystical to have those antlers. I got a little stamping in her um, mermaid tail. I'm good with that. Cool. Love this. All right. So we'll let that be. Last step we want to do for this background. Well, one almost. We're almost at the last steps. Not yet. Um... Is I want to do some splatters. Um, now for splatters, I am going to cover her up because I really don't want to splatter my girl. Okay, so splatters are easy, of course. Just get some white acrylic paint, wet it down. Use a splatter brush or a um, 
a spider brush. Use a, kind of a stiff brush or use a um, fan brush. And whatever you choose to use, it gives you different effects. Like, I'm going to use a fan brush. I did it last time and I liked it. If I can find the damn thing. Oh, there it is. All right, let me move my drink out. Anything you don't want, splatter, move out of the way. So I have a, I have my tea over here, and we don't want, I don't want um, splatters in my tea. Okay, so. And this really adds the mystic, magical effect. I think, anyway. Let me add a little bit more water over here to these. There we go. Get my splatters going. And what I call this is fairy dusting the piece. I don't really call it splatters. I like to call it fairy dusting. And you guys like it when I call it that too, because if I forget to fairy dust, people tell me, girl, you didn't fairy dust. So just know when we do this, I'm calling then from now. I like to call it fairy dust, not splatters. And we must fairy dust our piece. This is what adds the magic. I think between the script stamp that we just did and this adds such it just makes it look mystical. So I'm always trying to create something that looks like an old wall or an old door, but I'm also always trying to create mystical, magical places. So those are my two goals. I guess that's also my style, really. My style and my goal. Okay. So we're almost done with the background. Let me throw, throw a dryer over this really quick. Okay, we'll finish this up. do is you can take a um, Stabilo pencil if you want, which is like a watercolor pencil, black, or you can take a black watercolor pencil. Jane Davenport has uh, water soluble crayons. I need to get another one because, oh, I do have other ones. I just need to go into my stockpile. Um, it broke, but you can also use uh, Fabric Castells or Gelatos. So I'm just giving you all these different things. You can also use a oil pastel. You just don't need to wet your finger when you do it. You just use the heat of your finger. Um, I need to wet a baby wipe here or something so I can, there we go. So we're going to, um, and we'll do it on each side so you can make sure you can really see it. We're going to frame our edges all the way around. Okay. We'll start over here. If I get out of a frame, you guys, um, I'll be back in frame in a second. So we're just going to hit all the edges and I'm hitting them kind of, um, good. I want there to be a nice black contrast on these pages. I'm really loving like pastels and like pink, especially along with black. I think that looks really cool. All right. So I'm just going to do, well, you know what? I'll stop there. We'll do one page at a time. So I'm going to wet my finger and start smearing.
And like I said, I put this on pretty heavy and I meant to. I want to have a nice little smoky dark border around this. I think it's, gonna, it's just adding more magic, more magic and mystery to the page. in frame with this. All right, so we're now going to do the other side. And then um, the last part of this video will be me coloring this girl, um, coloring her up, our, um, our mermaid with the deer horn, and then we will um, collage the gnome on this page. Okay, so that'll be on our last segment. Oh, and I was going to add a flip onto this and add pockets. Okay, you guys, what I've discovered is when you use so many layers of glue and then you try to do something like that, um, the pages get really, really stiff. So if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to add my junk journaling to the, to my art journaling, I got to use a glue stick. I can't put layers on with the um, decoupage medium. And I love doing that because it gets the paper too stiff and I can't um, attach, I can't attach a pocket on, I can't, because the pages aren't flat. So anyway, so this, this go around, we're not going to be adding any junk journaling. It's just going to be art journaling on this page, on these two pages. Love it. Let me show you what both pages look like. Let me take these out. I don't these in here anymore. Yeah, I love, love, love how this turned out. So there's this. I think that looks really pretty. In fact, you know, let me just come in a little bit closer so you guys can see a little closer. Okay, let me just bring, how much closer are we in right now? Okay, so I just wanted to bring it in a little closer so you guys can see. I think that background turned out really, doesn't that just look like an old wall? Exactly what I was going for, an old mystical wall or door to somewhere okay so let me bring this us back out okay so that is where I'm gonna leave you guys today um, I will be try to be back tomorrow with I'll, I'll be back tomorrow because I really want to finish this up I really want to get to paint to uh, painting out my girl because that's gonna be just I think awesome also, I want to have, I think I already have my gnome collaged on here and a few other pieces all collaged together, so that'll be done, but we'll do my girl and then we'll be done with this piece, okay? And I love taking and kind of like I'm um, working with another artist when I do my work on one page and add their work to the other page. I just think that's kind of fun. It's like I'm collaborating, but they don't know I'm collaborating. <laughs> So there we go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and I will be back tomorrow, at least within the next two days. But I'm looking at tomorrow because I really want to get to um, coloring out my girl and collage my gnome and a few other collagey bits on this side. I'm excited. Okay, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And um, you guys come join our group. It's called Our Magical Little Place on Facebook. There's a link below. It's just a clickable link below. And you can come if you're a mixed media artist or crafter or you do mixed media art. Whatever you do, come share it with us in our group. In our group. Um, if you're doing any Christmas DIYs, it's an open group to come and share. Um, and remember, my friends, do something nice for someone today. 
And remember, we have more in common than we don't. All right, you guys. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.